Hi friend, it's Amy with Renewing Stitches. How are you? It is good to see you. I hope you are having a wonderful week. And if not, I hope you find this time spent with me a restful uh, break as you're stitching or listening or um, whatever you're doing. I welcome you here. If you are new, hi, I'm Amy. I'm in Northeast Texas. I talk about cross stitch most of the time. I have uh, floss tube extras flipping through um, vintage cross stitch magazines that I enjoy flipping and stitching through. I have a big collection and I'm sharing them with you because I think it's fun. <laughs> if you are returning, thank you, friend. Thank you, sweet friend. Um, it is, it's been a good week. Uh, I will say that it's probably about 70-ish outside, a nice breeze, not many clouds. I'm in Northeast Texas. I think I said that, but just in case I didn't, I've done this a couple of times. It's, it's, it's a mush in my head and it's nice. We did some work this morning in the garden. We ran some errands this morning. I ran into Hobby Lobby and got some fabric for my mom who was working on a quilt. I don't quilt. I would love to. I think, well, I've done two. One of them turned out really cute. The other one, not so much. So I kind of just stopped. Um, I usually just do cross stitch and crochet, which I need to pick up. This day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This day is um, going to be, well, this video, I guess, hopefully will be on the shorter side. I've got one finish and five, whoops, and one for sure plan, maybe, maybe some more. I'm not sure. One for sure. Let me first tell you about who I've been watching. I have... Um, found several new floss tubers. I'm going to try to spread it out. Uh, this first, I'll give you the first three. Um, very varying, varying whips of varying whips. <laughs> they all have different projects and they're not, the aesthetic of each one of these is not the same, but they are nice to listen to. Sweet, sweet ladies as they talk through their thought process on a lot of them. Um, some things I would stitch, some things that are not part of my aesthetic, but I love watching progress anyway. It is, we're all different, aren't we? So Maddie of Kitty Stitch and Chelsea of Sound Mind Stitching and Lacey of The Sleepy Stitcher. I will link all of them below. I found them this past week, enjoyed stitching with them. They don't know, who, well, if you are watching because you saw me link, uh, post you down below, hi, <laughs> it was so good stitching with you. Um, I enjoyed your projects. They, mm, it's just, I enjoy finding new people. I, I, I wonder if y'all are the same. Are y'all the same? Do you find new people and add them? You subscribe and now your subscription list is a mile long. I am that way. <laughs> I have my old favorites, but then I find new ones and I think, oh, I'll add them to my favorites. And, and I end up uh, with a, a list a mile long to watch. So I enjoyed watching them go, go, some, go see what they're working on. Maddie has got this uh, candy cane Santa stocking that she's doing from Dimensions. So cute. Chelsea has got a great variety. She just showed her um, Halloween finishes in whips. And then Lacey, the Sleepy Stitcher, she's also got a variety of projects. And she, this last one that I saw, and they may have put new ones out in the last day or two. I didn't check, but... Lacey is in Okinawa, Japan. They're stationed over there. So this last uh, floss tube that I saw, she had posted pictures and kind of told us about Okinawa, which is awesome. I love that. Um, regulars that I watch, <laughs> Uplift Stitchers, I know you know them, and Phoebe of Moonshine Stitchery, I know you know her. But if you don't, I will link them below. Love watching them. Phoebe, I have... Um, got an order on her in my, I've got some things in my cart on her website. Piece of fabric and some nail polish and just love listening to her and her. She's got a great variety. They all do. They all have good variety. I like variety, but I also like, I mean, I love the people that do all samplers or all 
um, full coverage or all smalls. I mean, there's such a great variety, lots of time to watch <laughs> and stitch if we have it. So if any of you are watching, hi friend, I call you my friend because I'm, I, I know you, but you don't know me maybe, but I've enjoyed watching you and stitching with you. So let's get started. My finish is an abbreviated finish. I think I, um, two weeks ago, I told you about my, maybe three weeks ago, told you about my whip go and how I have augmented it about halfway through. So at the start of the year, I had mostly new starts on my whip go. And then June, July, I changed it. And with the remaining numbers that were left, I put in projects that I wanted to finish by the end of the year. Kind of stalled out in September, but then two weeks ago, I, last week, I don't remember. When she called Jessie Marie, I will link her below too. When she called the la the November numbers, I thought, oh, really I'm only four behind because that means December numbers were the only two that were left and I've already completed those. So I only had four left as of that time because I had just finished one. Well, this is another one that I finished and so I have three left. Yay! <laughs> your board, your rules. That's what she says. So that's what I'm claiming. This is... Uh, Louisa Acton from 1897. Oh, let me show the picture. 1897 Schoolhouse Samplers. This is the black and white. I do print black and white, but you'll see a color photo on there. This is a freebie on their website that I will link. They don't give you a floss list or a suggested fabric. It's just do your own thing. So I did my own thing. I pulled 32 count natural linen and I stitched it from here down and I did not stitch this. I was going to at the beginning but I have a thought about this that I don't it's not a complete thought <laughs> but it won't be framed. I will figure that out. Oh I got to the bottom to the Z and then the heart and the bird um, which I don't think I did the bird. No yes I did. I'll show you that shortly but this is it's a nice square I, if I can find a frame, maybe a frame, but I have another thought. So I'm calling it a finish. And I stitched it with two greens, a pink and a red, and a cream colored. And this is my finish. And let's see. There you go. You can see the cream in real life. That's what it looks like. It kind of, it stands out a little more. I mean, it doesn't stand out there, but you can, you can see the difference right there. This is my finish. This little birdie is one over one. Ah, look at that. He's so cute. I did add a little extra X on his beak because it seemed a little nubby. So I um, added a little, a little one. And these are my initials in the year. So that's my finish. Uh, I think this is 822. I don't remember the rest, but if you need to know, then I can give you that. Just let me know. So, so happy. And I have the whole other side to stitch on later on. Yay. Oh, I'll put it over here because that's going to go on the sewing machine. In the sewing machine pile. All right, next is, so after I finished that, I picked up one of the other three that are left on my whip go, and Shores of Popcorn Hollow is next. And now I'm not stitching all of these as one. These are all, well, I'm not even stitching all of them. Most of them are going to be smalls, and I am on this one right here. It's number 10, I believe. I'm not stitching this middle part. Since it'll be a pillow, I want to find some rope and put around the middle. And I'm kind of on the fence about the little leafy things here, but I'm on, I'm there with the, uh, in the bottle. And this is, what is this? 40 count straw linen. This is where I am. Last time I had, let's see, I was on this side. So I had everything this way done. That bird was not in, his legs were in, but he was not there or she. So I put the bird in, put his beak, then counted down and started on the bottle. I believe this will ma match up. We will, we will see. 
I believe it goes all the way across. Now, whether I've slipped a half stitch somewhere, I don't know yet. <laughs> I think it's okay. We shall see, though. And you may be saying, Amy, this does not look like the green that is called for. And actually, it's, it's ochre, I think. Yes, 830. And you would be correct. This is not the called for color, even remote. It is actually the blue that goes around the outside of the bottle because I started over here and I got probably right here finishing these two leaves and thought, hmm, I don't know that that's supposed to be a blue color. I think it's supposed to be green or whatever. And then I looked at the color um, that was chosen for the DMC and I thought, eh, I kind of like this one better, so I left it. So this is an accident that turned to it on purpose. <laughs> and so I finished all this same color. This is um, 161. It would be, um, they called it glacier blue, needle, po needle point silk, I think. So same color as the blue here, so I knew it was fine. And it'll be the exterior of the bottle. So it'll have a rope, and I'm not sure about the leafy things on the back. And you know, I think I need to now that I'm looking at it, I need to fill in these birds with that peachy beak and feet color. These two don't have it, so I still need to do that. But that's that's how far I got after I finished Louisa. And I also have the other half of that to stitch on. I don't know if I'll use this same fabric on all of them. I will be stitching most of them. I have to go back and look at my notes. There's a couple that I won't stitch, but anyway, that's where it is. Then, well, I don't think I picked this up next. I think this was probably before that, before I finished Louisa. This is S is for Stag by Maiden Marsh. Right here. Oh, real quick. Uh, that's the I Spy Challenge that I'm doing, that Laura Stitching by the Shore High Friend is doing. Check her um, Facebook. I'm not on Facebook, but if you are also not on Facebook, don't worry. She posted on her community tab of her floss tube. So this is the I Spy Challenge of, or the prompt, I Spy Something with Feathers. And the bird has feathers. And then this one is the meets the, sorta, <laughs> I spy a prompt of something you would see in a mall. And I thought, well, this time of year you'd see a wreath in a mall, um, if not for shopping, for decorating, for sure. So that's what this is. This is um, just a monochromatic. I'm stitching it on pearl. Where's my note? 25 count pearl, one over one. Full cross, and here is where I am. Last time you saw, I think I had all of that and then the outline of the deer. So I just fill in the deer. Excellent zoom stitching. So I can listen and giggle and talk, but still get some stitching done. So that's that one. Keep working on that. 25 count pearl Lugana from Zweigart. Okay. Then I finished Exodus in my. Uh, Reading, I'm reading chronologically through the Bible, and Tara of Mud Creek Stitcher, hi friend, is stitching this as well. This is from My Big Toe. Where is the name? That's right here. My Big Toe Designs. She's stitching this as well. Um, and I'm believing, she, I believe she's reading straight through. I'm reading chronologically. So I finished Exodus and started did that. I dyed this fabric with some writ of some color. <laughs> and I can't, I don't know. It's a probably a caramel. There we go. 28 count. Two over two. And this is where I am. I'm using, I think, DMC 517. And I did not write that down, but I will share that if you, I'll share that either down below or next week if you're, if you're wondering. So I had Genesis done and this side of the little, 
I want to say Florida Lee, but it's not. It's this motif. And I had that done. And I had part of the outline here. And I counted down to do a couple of stitches here so I would know that's where Job goes. So I stitched this last week Job and the little flower. And then Exodus. And then brought this over. Stitched this side. And that outline of the next swoopy. Swoopy motif. <laughs> so as I complete a book then I will stitch it, but then also pick up stitches here and fill in, uh, finish crossing the X's here, the X's here, work on the next one that goes there. There's also a border at the bottom that I could do, or not a border, but a border in between and a border at the bottom. And then this verse, uh, Second Timothy verse, I can stitch that anytime. So my plan is just to stitch the book that I finished and then pick something else and work on filling it in. So by the time maybe I get to Revelation, it'll be like done, done. So that's that's my plan. And it has some splotchy, and I don't think with the stitching over it, you'll be able to see it much. I'm not really worried about it. I know I'm also not really worried about the fraying. I, when I dye, so when I dye fabric, I always wash it in cold water to let it uh, set. And so it does fray. It doesn't bother me. I'm sorry if it bothers you. It's, it doesn't bother me. I will, um, unless I am, I have a piece of it that I'm trying to fit something specific on, then I will serge it or sew a piece of fabric on it that I, so I can get to the edge without it fraying. But something like this, it's, it's okay. Uh, I'm good with it. It's, it's all right. It's plenty big. <laughs> plenty big. Next, um, no prompt. Next, Autumn Town from Autumn Lane. Also black and white printing, but that's okay. You're gonna see color. I dyed this fabric also. So that was two that I've done, okay. It was a green, I have no clue how I did it. I would love to, I should have written it down, but I didn't and so this is the last piece I have, I think, of the green. It's a 32 count, even weave, and it looks blue, blue green. It's really like a dark mint green, like a, or a vibrant mint green. It's not highlighter green, but it's, it's green. We'll see. Maybe that's it. Yeah. Cloud. I stitch a lot of cloud. And I, yeah, I stitched a lot of cloud. I got this orange tree in and the beginning of the roof. This brown, that's a prompt. Stitch brown? No. Am I imagining that? No, the color brown. Yes, it is. Okay, I spy prompts. The color brown. So this is um, like a really dark brown. I don't remember what, but it's also got several browns. There's browns everywhere in it. So um, this is a house. There's a house here. I have this color on my needle. And so I will probably finish it out and probably get a good chunk on that house and then maybe do the roof over here. I've been holding off on doing houses because I enjoy houses a lot. So... I may go ahead and do that because I'm really kind of tired of cloud and sky. But that's okay. I may do a strand and then go do something else. So I'm really loving this. Other than the repetitiveness of the cloud and the sky. But it's okay. Okay. And then the last one is... Sorry, I almost hit myself in the face. Gnomus Designs. I'm working on this one. I won't say it too loud because they're in there. Um, and by way of review, these are my signs. Back. <laughs> there we go. It's theirs. And then this is my husband's. And I got lots of 
it darker. I think that it will lighten up. There we go, maybe. I had a little bit of the white here done. So I finished it up here and did the black. And I did a good bit of blue. There is still a sliver of gray that goes around the outside of this. And then there's white up here and white here and then the back stitching. So I need to go ahead and get the back stitching knocked out. So I may work on that, filling that in and getting the gray and then start on the back stitching because this is just blue. And this is all the back stitching that's there. It's not around, oh, I guess around the outside of the, the helmet, but it's not in here. There's not any back stitching there. See, it's just a lot. So I may just get, get that going and get it knocked out here soon. So that's that. These are on 16 count white Ada using DMC. I think um, Anchor is also an option in there. Um, I'll put those up before I make it in, in here. Still a secret. I stitch on these whenever they're at piano um, or at, if I'm at a doctor's appointment with my mom. Okay. And that is all. 21 minutes. I thought it was going to be short, but we're about on time. Um, plans. We, I just put up a cross stitch, I'm oh, sorry, floss tube extra, flipping through a Crazy for Cross Stitch magazine from early 2000s. Yeah, January of 2002. It doesn't seem like a long time ago, but it was 22 years ago. So it's almost, <laughs> that's a long time. This week, you will see a flip through of this one, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts from November, December of 1990. And there are four maybe more that I would like to stitch in here. Um, yes, please. Let me see. I'll just give you a sneaky, a sneaky peek. There's one. Sorry about the, I'm not sorry. I'm just flipping magazines. Here you go. <laughs> Almost full coverage. So up here is not, and there's some here that's not, and down here that's not, and no, all that's stitched. Yep. Oh, sorry. Yes, over by the tree. That's not, and then up here is not. Oh, good stuff. You know, I love the vintage stuff. Love it, love it, love it. I need more time. A plan that I want to, yes, a plan start. So my friend Amy of Amy and Make, she's here on Floss Tube. Hi, friend. She put out a, um, a new pattern, and it is so cute. It's called A Berry Christmas, and I will link that video below. She gave it to us as a thank you. Thank you, Amy. Such a cute pattern. Um, and I found a piece of toast to stitch it on, which sounds funny. Found a piece of toast to stitch on. Um, toast is the fabric that she called for. It is a fabric that you can get at Hobby Lobby. It's 14 count. I think at a 14 count it finishes up in a 5x5 five five or 6x6 six six square. It is so darling, so cute. So go see her. I will link that video below here. And it's on um, her gum road. So I'm so excited she's getting into designing. Can't wait to see what else she does. And we are going to stitch 25 ornaments in 2025. Yes, <laughs> we've got to figure that out. Several of y'all are going to stitch 25 ornaments in 2025 with us. So, um, is there anything else? I think that is all. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you, um, yeah, if you have any questions or if you just want to tell me what you're stitching or if you just want to say hi, I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Thank you for spending it with me. Thank you for commenting and watching these videos. I love sharing these with you. I it, it's it's motivating and it's motivating to see others what others are stitching, create and how are they're creating too. Um, and it's just it's fun. I it's an extension of my in-person stitchy friends. So 
is just multiplied. Good to see y'all. Have a good week. I will see you in a week, Lord willing. Happy stitching, and I will see you in the comments. Bye. Yeah, if I can find the off button. <laughs>